Hello and welcome to our latest Gemini Rogue video. This is the M4 Ripper Killer 05 Premium Tank. Uh, tell us something about it if you can. Historical wise, it was just a prototype, so we never made two. It is the M4A2E4. So the M4A2, the A2 stands for it being the Sherman 3. Even though it ain't got the rounded front, you see it's more pointing than you get, it's technically the British Lend Lease Sherman you used to get. With okay. this gun, the 75mm from the M3 Lee, as that didn't really exist. It was basically an experimental tank to try independent torsion bar suspension, and it didn't work. Okay. It weren't very serviceable, and it very difficult to maintain, and not very well thought out, basically. So they kind of scrapped the idea. So that's the historical side of things. It didn't really do anything. Are you saying it's got M3 Lee gun on it? Oh, there we go. Go on. Yeah, then. so we'll look at the engine, General Motors engine, and we've got 420 brake horsepower. And as I mentioned before, that is the 75mm gun off a stock M4 or the same gun as you get on a fully upgraded M3 Lee at tier 3. Oh, awesome. So we've got 92 pen for 110 damage, 127 pen maximum for a premium round for the same 110 damage. I'm not really bothered with the um, HE rounds. Yeah. Accuracy 2.6, uh, aim time, sorry, 2.06. And the accuracy is a big problem, 0.46. Wow. 37 traverse on the old. 76 turret armour, that's quite decent, you're going to find there. 370 yeah. metre view range, signal's not great at 570. So, you see there, change load out, plenty of rounds to go out. We've got 90 rounds to play with. That's so plenty. you can take whatever you need. Equipment-wise, coated optics, you can mix and match whatever the best for you. I advise you to take that, definitely take the gun lane drive. Yes. You've got to take that for 0.46 actually, and you'll notice it, we'll talk about it as the video goes on, the aim time blooms very quickly. No vert stabs? No. no. Uh, so, it points wise, 480 it points, the engine, 13.31 power to weight ratio. It's strange, we'll talk about this again in a bit, but 52 km hour top speed, even though this has a lower power to weight ratio and less brake horsepower than an yeah. M4, it managed to travel 4 mile an hour quicker. Okay. So, we'll come to the gun, 10 degrees of gun depression. 3.81 second reload that's before you fit any kind of equipment on it yeah. so the guns we'll, we'll talk more about the gun the i mean very precise on the terrain the resistance is there <laughs> point threes and fours all over the place traverse is pretty good radio is a bit of a let down 500 centimeter signal but the way you play the tank it's not really that much of an issue yeah yeah, yeah. you kind of go ammo racks Ooh, <laughs> the rear and everywhere space another that, drawback of the tank you can see straight away the shell velocity is Appalling. Woeful. It's absolutely appalling. It take a day for it to get from oh, one How many the people you got in that tank's <clears> huge. Yeah, squeezed in. I mean, we've seen these at Tank Fest. These, these Shermans are a lot bigger than what they look on this yeah, game. When you stood next to one of these things, they yeah. are huge. So we'll come to the armor profile, and you can see there it's pretty beefy. Pretty beefy indeed, especially for a tier 5 tank. You see, it's incredibly well angled. Yes. It's not the thickest of armor, don't get me wrong. On paper, yeah. it doesn't look that great, you but need... it's, it's tremendously angled there's only random red bits no not on no, this one not on this one. so you've got your basic stuff there you, your weaknesses your tracks 20 mil they're always the same 25 mil on the sides but they are angled as well so you'd be surprised on me skid off there sides are it again not the greatest 13 no. mil so no. you've got to really carefully don't over angle this thing yes. when you're trying to get the most out of your frontal armor again gun port there Ooh. you're going to see that in this video as well that's a weakness so generally on american tanks but you can see they're 64 mil thick but that is nicely sloped yes. so you're gonna to have to make the most of that the best you can turret's a little bit thicker 76 mil but again it's quite rounded you've got your gun man let's play with as well so you're surprised what you bought there lower down we go thicker we get so yeah. sometimes people try and aim low on the tanks where it's weaker point is not on the ripper no and look at that the Ooh, very yes. lowest bit 108 mil thick are we saying shoot there. aim for the gun port? Gun port, if you can, the turret's thicker than that. If not, you can probably try and smash through the angle, but it's your best chance you've got. Yeah. It's, it's not an easy tank to pen, especially when you're coming up against it against, well, tier six is as much as it's good. It's got prem fresh on oh, make it. So it only ever goes up to tier six. It's a good thing as well. So I'll talk more about that gun now. It is the same gun as a stock M4 in every single way. Slight differences on aim time, which I mean slight differences as well, and the accuracy, but other than that, it is exactly the same when you get a stock M4. Okay. Well, that gun is off the M3 Lee at tier four. It is uh, a tier four gun. Doesn't sound good, man. 
The tier 4 gun is probably better. The M3 Lee's got a fire rate of 20 rounds per minute, where we've only got 15.75 in this. So the M3 Lee fires ah, shots okay. quicker. The accuracy is also better on the M3 Lee at 0.41 compared to our 0.46. But the aim time is slightly out. Slightly. On the M3, 2.1 to our 2.06. Are you saying that uh, an M3 Lee can rinse you? You've got saying good. You're going to be going toe to toe. You've got a lot more armor than he has. Okay. So you can see straight away. That he's, can't he's quite nimble. Like he's only got that much yeah. break off power in any. What snapping shots off in this thing? Look I at this. Look at the bloom. Yeah. It's one slight movement, and that artillery's already yeah. had, already had a go. <laughs> Get used to that. This game. The thing is that shooting on the moves your trait. It's not the tank's trait, is it? It's not something. Normally, though, if you're in some, if you're in a T34 with a ZIS gun, yeah. you can snap shots off. Quite Ooh, high, yeah, quite shell velocity <laughs> and accuracy. Okay. Oh, this guy just come in the tracks could have done without that. Um, we can, you can see, you're not impervious, but if you angle this armor, it's pretty, pretty strong. Thank Especially you. if you're coming up against tier three, you go. We're not on the best start here. That guy did work sometimes. Yeah, it did quite actually. Close, yeah. Hard to miss him from there. You've got to try and angle it, like I said before, but try not to over. You can easily over angle this, you ain't got much side armor. What, about 38 what, mil what side. sort of angle are you talking then? Well, you see it on this, you'll see me. I'll just give you quite a few examples on here how to use it. Again, Ooh, it's arty one shit, not it? Desperate for me. That's what they're desperate for me. You've got to remember that with your standard shell, you've only got 92 mil penetration. Not a lot. Which is okay when we're fighting what we're fighting now, the medium tanks and the light tanks of this yeah. tier. When you come up against the old heavy tanks, yes. KV ones, the T14s, and stuff like that, the more armored tier five mm. heavies, yeah. we're going to really start to struggle. It does put a nice ish all in, 110 rolls quite nice sometimes. Another artillery strike coming in, <laughs> but I don't mind the fact that it takes long time taming. You've got armor to fall back on. Yeah. It's not like you've seen some tanks that have got paper armor and oh, they've got yeah, a long yeah. aim time. You've got to yeah. sit there. You're just going to take a whack. You can block a fair bit in this not impervious like we said before but you can sustain it quite a bit of a beating. Does it do out in tier 6? Tier 6 you've really, depends if you're coming up against KV 85 of this world and stuff like that, the yeah. heavy tanks again. It's not, me. It's not going to struggle to play Crown Worlds in 92 but if you're coming up against thicker armor and stuff. 80s are a real pain in the bump, yeah. you know your 82s and your 87s you're going to come yeah, against. Yeah because it's, it's not very good at 80s is it? You just can't, you're in, it's just shocking, you're not going to make the Capola, it's just not accurate. Yeah. Enough. It's going to hit that though, isn't it? Yeah. I ninja'd him, man. Yeah, so we lost that one there, but just under a thousand damage, we've got one kill. A couple are yeah. assisted here. The in game time, 300% in uh, the in time. View range, 300% in the time. I'll tell you, I'm a bit of a yeah, fest up here. He's, he's ripping through some. We're going to see that now, that we're just not going to be able to pen. We're going to have to aim for weak spots. That's what you're going to need to do in this tank. You see, we're aiming for that. Yeah. What we've got on ours is a little bit bigger than the T14. Oh, um, which, it's amazing how we keep hitting it to be honest with you. Hit it again. Okay, I know, well, it's not even fully aimed in, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> and you can see that's what I'm talking it. about when we're poking around this round angle hit around it. the corner, we're skidding quite a few shots off at front of us. Nice. Shot back. So we're just trying to hide the side ah, and Artie finally smashes one pain in the arse all this game. You can't afford a damage gun in mm. the A4A2E4. Just not happening. You're gonna struggle. Our repair wheel's awesome, isn't it? I like how you've just so, managed to do that. So, they're coming at us from all angles, coming back around back of us. You can get shredded quite easy, the fire rate, 3.81 second reload. It sounds quite low, but at this tier, yeah, it really yeah. isn't. Yeah, there's a lot of quicker stuff out there. a lot there. faster firing. And you're talking when you get to the M4, when you get the 76mm on the M4, it, okay. take 5, yeah. Yeah, take 3, yeah. M4. Yes. Your gun's substantially better. We've got 128 pen straight away for 115 damage. The damage isn't substantially more, only five more. Mm. But we're talking nearly 30 extra pen. Yeah, but he goes up to tier seven. Yeah, that's the that's a drawback. We'll come to that now, the premium side of things. Yeah. 100 and randomly, 159% silver. Wow. Don't know why we couldn't just make 160, I don't know, but so, but again, remember this is a tier five tank, so yeah. we're not going to be racking vast yeah. amounts of silver. But does it allow you to, to spam a lot of gold? It and does, and you sometimes, like I said before, you've mentioned tier six games, you do need it if you come up against every tank, you can find yourself bouncing quite a lot of shots. Yeah. And that actually, it's, it's playing ball, R&D's on this side here, this one, well and true. I hope you get that artillery, it deserves it. <laughs> yeah. Better than the, the XP, it makes 145% XP, yeah. which is really a mutter of bonus really to it. No, it's yeah. more silver bonus. Yeah. And then the crew, it's not a crew trainer, 100% crew bonus, so this Nothing. is not a tank you're going to buy to train your crews up, but it can make a little bit of silver. 
It can also there is a pesky swine. Yeah, Still cool. pretty sure. <laughs> oh Neil. So we've got four kills in that game. Yeah. And let's see. Oh, we'll have a look. We'll fight a little bit of premium at mm. that heavy tank. Yeah. We'll fight restaurant standard shell. So let's see what kind of silver this tank makes on the end screen. Okay, that's not that Not bad. Kind of from maybe it's a bit of a bully when it comes to tier three. He's going to struggle to yeah. get frontally. Like, even the heavy tanks are a need so some silver. 51 fights, that's not bad. For a, for a tier five tank, it's not bad. Yeah. Just under 1800 damage. Block yeah. 360 there, you can find that going up substantially more in other games. No. Bogotars turn up, they they are a real issue. Yeah, but we're going to struggle to pay. You shoot them in turret though, don't you? If you can hit it. Yeah, true. <laughs> you, I mean, the accuracy on this gun is sometimes yeah, controller it, smashingly bad. If RNG's really against you in a ripper. Yeah. You won't it can be a long game. It can be a long, real long game. Or short. Yeah. Yeah, well, short. Yeah. Probably short. Probably short. Anyway, what do you do in this then? Oh, good. Usual. What? Tier 5 game, which, you know, like I say, get preferential matchmaking, so you do see quite a lot of these. Tier 3 is pretty what much... What do you mean a lot of these? Because we are not get preferential matchmaking. It's either Tier 5 or 6 game, so uh, you do see quite a lot okay. of tiers. Look at the aim time. If you haven't, yeah. Imagine if you haven't got a gun lane drive on that. Wow. But again, kind of accurate when it comes to it. Just caught him on two that shots. Two shots. Tier two, though. Um, you're bully, you're not man. even worried about that tier three. It was a tier two, wasn't it? No, tier three. Oh, okay. If Whatever. You, if you come up against an M4, they're a lot easier to pen. I mean, the M4's all 51 mil thick. Yeah. So it's quite substantial reduction. And not as well angled, if you know what I mean. Slanted mm. wide, it's quite round as so well. Oh, uh, okay. It's easier to pen. Turret armour, a standard M4, 64 mil. Whereas we've got 76 frontly on this. So it's a vast upgrade when it comes to armour. Not gone. Just not, yeah, just not gone. But like you've said, that guy has to see tigers. Yeah, true. I don't. Yeah. I see KV 85 T 150s stuff like that. Oh, I mean, you're not scared. You're just not scared. The only one you've got to worry about is that guy over there is just shot. So we're going to get him tight. out of the way. I'm not worried about that M3 Lee over at far side. No way for him to come back. Just use that dead tank to cover himself on that tier 4 there. Um, this is what I'm talking about with the fire. The hole's quite high. It's quite mm. nice and substantial. Yeah. So you put it into it. Roll for under and fall over them with that one. Right? And again, you can yeah, see, that's right, the stop. angle I'm talking yeah. about. If you angle that from, yeah. you're pretty impervious. Well, what's the actual degree edge? You know what the degrees are? You do, you're talking like tigerish wise. It's about 45. Okay. Probably a little bit less. What, just between 40 and 45. Yeah. Let's call it between 40 and 45. If you want to shoot one of these things, don't turret, forget about the turret. It's going to be well, hard to bend. He's side on though, you know. He is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not talking about anything. Oh, about so <laughs> this paper thing, they're shooting him anyway. <laughs> and this guy's going to be a right pain in the arse if Leopard has got coming. Kind of mm. equal at this point. Just bought another tank there. And he's just oh, oh, thanks for that. Thanks for I'm breaking in front of us. I want to get out of there quick. Out of the way. Uh, shooting on moves, that's another drawback. Oh my word, Siders on against all these. And we're a little bit too Siders on. Again, you can see. I mean, they're tier 3 tank straight, but the Marder's got quite a substantial yeah, gun on it. good. And uh, even he's it's tier 4 one as well. Yeah, the Marder's good. And he's can he's defenders. Get shot from oh, back as well. Oh, Ninja's turtles. Ninja's saved you. First shot, there's that problem that gun would bounce off of the Lux. I think yeah. you've got the armor. <laughs> no. But we still bounced that first shot, but we're plowing out. I think that's top gun. We've yeah, you're doing well, actually. Spiked. I didn't really notice how many you got. You're doing well. Uh, we're up to 1500 damage, just shy of. Thing is, your top tier you should do well. That's the beauty of this tank we talked about. It. If you what? get a tier 5 game, you can yeah. be a bit of a boy. Even your heavy tanks this world are going to struggle to pen you at someone. Not all. You get certain with certain guns on, they're not going to yeah. just lock on, shoot, and pen yeah. you. It's not going to be that easy for them. Ooh, okay, the well. The guns just, we're just caught in there at yeah. line. Uh, you just, like we were talking about before, one slight move. Yeah. Just edge forward, or you just turn your gun a bit, and that, that aim just blooms out. Look at that when you fire it's, the gun, it's it blooms even when out. It's massive when you fire it, isn't yeah. It? And luckily, it's didn't any time before you fire again, so you don't really notice uh, okay. when you fire it. But just one slight movement can accuracy. Oh, <laughs> <you go>. Yeah. <laughs> no mercy rolls when it comes to killing tanks. It's not like you moved your gun or anything, is it? No. So, I mean, back up more than we could chew it. Getting a bit too um, eager to try and get some damage and uh, get yeah. a Radley. We've got seven, and this guy's got a big old There's nowhere to run. Uh, uh, it's it's it was a ram up, did you? He's obviously watched Two siders on, and he's gone straight for the turret with that quite substantial gun. So you can see there in this game, on um, the previous one, every tank's going to cause you a problem, not through arm wise, just through sheer gun penetration. They're the problems you're going to run into. 
They're the ones you're gonna have to worry about and use as obstacles. Other than that, you can be a bully. Plus, when they ram you. Yeah, mediums and lights, you can bully them in this yeah. thing quite easily. Okay. But again, we'll see how much silver we made there. Fired a few again, we had to out of that KV1. Mm, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. KV1 from that distance, we can't even aim for weak points. You saw the one, we aimed centre mass and we ended up hitting him at top of the yeah, turret. Yeah, that's what you mean. It's not, you're not picking spots. So we made another 58,000 silver there. Mm -hmm. Quite a nice return. 2,000 damage, 7 kills. Yeah. What, 500 you can see and yeah. 500 assisted. Yeah, that's very good, Killers 05. I think that wraps it up in this um, Ripper. Thank you very much for the gameplay. It was awesome. And a lighters.